Hello everybody, welcome back to Ben Trading Cards and today we gonna take a look at the cards inside of this deck and this is the Warlock's Dungeon a Solo Venture campaign so it's for single player and this is created by Jeff Pasito there 2022 Outer Edge Games so he owns Outer Edge Games and he is Jeff Pasito so we met uh few days ago then he gave me this one this is an alpha test card so we're gonna take a look at this a 52 card self-contained adventure yeah and we have another um our what's this warrior and something monster there alpha um uh, twd dash au yeah this is just a code and a 52 card self-contained adventure there and i think oh yeah there solo solo venture it's solo yeah so it's a single player where he showed me a little bit of this ones guys when we met then yeah gonna show that there alpha and this is the life counter guys um if you don't have a dice yeah you can use this like that then also they there are rules here separate all decks by type so you will have it in the this order guys so separate all decks by type choose a hero set dungeon start card then shuffle all decks flip a dungeon card and connect a doorway to the existing dungeon follow directions on the dungeon card resolve the actions on the dungeon card then the last one is return to step five so it just goes here and then goes step five and loop all right so this is 49B slash 50. I think this is the number of card there. And uh, the Creator's Life is here. So this is the Creator's Life counter. Yeah. So I think you're going to put like uh, something like this. If you have a card 20, then 19, 18, 17. And then after that, you go here till it's 1. You can also use the uh, dice, you know. But I, th I guess uh, Jeff made it simple. Everything will be in a card. So we have special rules. If a dungeon card ends in a staircase, remove its card from the play and reshuffle the all the dungeon cards back in the dungeon deck and start again at the dungeon start card. If there are no more encounter cards left, proceed flipping dungeon cards until the dungeon has been completed. If you run out of HP, like this, here, then um, your character has died and you have failed the dungeon. Yeah, straightforward. It's like going to the dungeon, then you will see creatures, then you will fight with the creatures. Then if you have zero life, then you are dead. <laughs> Back to nature. All right. Now. We have here some encounter decks. Okay, so it says here encounter decks. Encounter decks, that means you will encounter these decks inside a dungeon. All right, and there. So put encounter decks right there. Then another one is another deck, which is a dungeon deck. One, two, there. There. We're gonna choose that. Gonna do it. There we go. Then dice deck. Let me see what's this. Oh, there's a dice there. So dice deck is uh, two, four, six, eight. Just a dice deck. And soul venture hero deck. There you go. Then what's this? Oh, it's an ID OBSP customer order. Blah blah blah. Uh huh. Embossed component one over two cards. Printed in the USA. Okay. Then this one is, I don't know what is this, guys. Fragile. Hmm. A602, maybe. Just um, the description of this card or of this deck. Okay. Now, the hero deck first. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, going to put them together. These ones are the rules. All right. Now we have the hero deck. Which is Typhar Proud Blade. See, oh, 20. Oh, yeah. There. Hero Life is 20. There. And you can see here, guys, there are some dice 
right? So there are six. This one is six. Six, so there is like two dice. Um, yeah, two-handed swipe, piercing stab, shield block, brazer block. So once you you um, get the dice, I think this one here, then if this is the outcome, then you will have this res um, result, something like that. So five, two, then minus three, minus two. I think this is a the attack and then the defend there. So attack will have attack of five and then attack of two. Then the defense, defense. So when you defend, then you will have like if you um, have the outcome of the dice like this one, then you can only have minus three or minus two. Yeah, so this is number one or 50. Oh, we have another type of hero. Or, yeah, it's a hero. Dog. Yeah, call it hero in this game. So Bardo, the Rock on Tour. Ooh, it's a magician, guys. Look at that. 18 only. I guess this one is a strong card. So it's a bard, uh, warrior, bard. Then roll twice when attempting to heal. All right. So attack, defense. So this one's 2-2. Two, two. Then minus three, okay, for wall of sound, reroll, attack, and defense dice. So these are the ones um, you will um, get this dice deck, okay, 18. Then Gale, what's this, quick finger, oh, the thief, uh -huh. 16 life, then roll twice when this arming traps, oh, nice, and this will be the outcome. Attack, sneak attack, two, dagger swipe, one, escape the previous room there, defend, um, if you have this, you have parry, cost two damage, then um, this one here is dodge, there you go, so that is the hero, then Yargo, Yargo, that is a mage, oh, magician, guys, 24, oh, yeah, it's weak, but powerful, probably. A week but it can be long range yeah so this is the one fireball lightning touch mage hand force field wall of wonder so these are the attack is here four three on one and then defend force field minus two and minus one there you go so yeah that's the hero deck all right and i'm gonna show you the encounter deck Oh, look at that. Or maybe the dungeon first. Just to, so easy to, to know, uh, to learn, guys. Uh, like, you know, this is like a location inside a dungeon. Each card is a location. And there is a description here, like a story. Look at that. As your eyes turn the corner, you see an unfamiliar light. Sun glinting off a gold obelisk. The sounds of bird... Birds overwhelm you as the smell of fresh vegetation wafts in. You have made it through the dungeon. Oh, okay. So this one is the end. <laughs> this is, I think, the goal. Made it through the dungeon. So that's the goal. Okay, let me see here. Oh, this is the the ones that inside the dungeon. So you can see arrows here. And I guess um, I haven't... Uh, maybe do it like that. Maybe. Or yeah, okay. So let's let's take a look, guys. Then uh, we have here. You enter a room shaped different than the others. The vaulted ceiling curves high overhead, bleeding away any warmth from the sputtering fire high in the air. The cold chill left to run through your bones makes your teeth clatter. Flip two encounter cards. So you will flip two of these ones. Heal up to 5 HP from your hero. So each card, guys, this one is a location. And each location has its own uh, something instructions. Okay. So that one, that one. So yeah, look at that. So dungeons and another instruction right here. Yeah, you can pause that. Just read it, guys. Then another one here with another instruction there. Then, yeah, and another one. So there are it's like you know it's, um it's like uh D, D yeah that you go in but there's no dungeon master 
but maybe maybe they can um jeff will expand this to to multiplayer guys yeah this is a good one stealing yourself for the worst you enter another chamber of the dungeon the walls and floor and then you scent of mold in the air similar to the last room but is something different so this one is flip one encounter so each i think it's in each um dungeon in dungeon card you will flip two sometimes you flip one sometimes you flip one so that you will encounter something like a creature or whatever it's in there so we're gonna take a look at that in a while there then the noises you thought yeah flip another one so it's a story with a an instruction to flip one card there and you fight with that creature there you go and there there you go and draw five or higher to heal three hp see that remove this dungeon card from the game hmm. okay next roll four uh this is another one roll four or higher to heal two hp there roll four or higher to heal two hp nice then this is the start okay so you awaken in the da dank dimly lit room so, so it's uh, the start of the dungeon like this let me move this away so see that guys put it here right like that and then once you have that roll four or something and then another one there on top and let me see if there's another uh, there so you're gonna go somewhere i'm not sure how to position this but there are some arrows and you're gonna go outside this is the last one right so this is the start and the end point there okay so that's the one here that's a card and i'm gonna show you the quality of the card guys it's matte like it's like canvas um like like a canvas guys because there are some a little bit of grids there yeah it's that smooth yeah there see that it's a different kind of um paper there then the i think this one is um i don't know 320 gsm probably or 310 because it's a bit um yeah similar to meta zoo i think similar to i think it's similar to magic yeah okay so dice this one is the uh, the one that I told you that you will have an outcome of the dice here. So we have six, five, four, three, four, four, oh, there are four, two fours, nice, three, three, two, three, two, and one. Okay, <laughs> so there's two, four, and two threes. Okay, so that's the one, guys, and uh, I think you will shuffle this, and whatever you get is the outcome there three then you match it with that okay all right next is rd i think that the monsters encounter cards and let's take a look here there and this one is crumbling walls a click it echoes briefly followed by grinding stones you've sprung a trap oh there's a trap there Roll a three or less if you fail, take three damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, a D&D &D in cards, guys. Then crumbling walls again. Roll a three. Then, ooh, arrow springs. There is a trap, guys. So it's a trap. A trap um, type of card. You hear the sound of the spring pulling. Thought a realize. And realize you've stepped on a trap. So roll a four for the outcome. So whatever. If you fail, take two damage. So you're gonna damage with your life here. Nice. Or two arrow springs, sacred potion. Oh, I think this one is for healing. Treasure. Add one to each attack and defense action your hero takes for the rest of the game. Oh, okay. So it's for the attack and defense. Yeah, HP defense. So it's typically the heal potion, secret potion. Use this potion to heal five HP from your hero. Oh, HP 
and some defense. Oh, this one is to to increase your attack and defense. Ah, yes, blocking and attacking. And this one is the heal or uh, heal your HP. So this is from your hero. Discard after use. There you go. Nice. Then warlock. Okay. And this is a monster, and the life is eighteen. So you will encounter this on one of the dungeons right here. Once you you will, for example, where is it? Um, if you are going to flip encounter cards like this one here. Then, if you flip an encounter card and you get this, then you have to fight with this one. And it has also some dice here. So, if if this one is the outcome of the dice, ethereal tendrils, so that this attack is 4. Defense is uh, 4 or 3, this is spectral wall, minus 3. Okay, nice. So, monster, or maybe this is... Yeah, encounter. Yeah, these are monsters. Then they're like um they are similar to the heroes. Yeah, it's a hero deck, but this one is the encounter deck. Okay. Yeah, monster, monster again. There it's orc soldier, warlock. Then we have goblin miscreant. Then 10, 13. So they're they're not that uh, strong, guys. So there are, oh, there are two goblins, oh, three, four, four goblins, and chittering crab there, nice, six, and chittering crab is just attacking, doesn't defend, then this one is gold, wait, all gold, I think, yeah, 16 over 30, 50, zero, yeah, there, one, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, you're gonna encounter this quite often, guys. There. And Orc Soldier. Oh, Orc Soldier should be there. There. And this one is 13. Yeah. So Orc Soldier should be here um, with them. There. So there are how many Orc Soldier? I bet I have. Um, wait. Here. Yeah. We have three. Yeah. You're gonna encounter this Orc Soldier. Yeah, so sometimes some of the dungeons have, um, like, for example, this flip, just this one is flip one, but the other one is flip two. So you, you might encounter anything like uh, Orc Soldier and a Crab. The bad thing, if you get Orc Soldier and then the other one, this one, OMG, it's going to be strong, guys. Look at that. See that? Yeah. So that's how... Um, uh, that's how it's um, played, guys. Like it's like going into the dungeon, then you get cards, then you never know what you're gonna get for the encounter. It, it may be an orc, a warlock, or some goblins, and a crumbling wall, and then you will heal up. Sometimes you get potions. Wow, that is cool, man! And uh, a cool game from Jeff Pasito. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this um, this um, unpacking or reveal of the game, something like that. So I hope you enjoyed, guys, and uh, support this. I'm not sure if Jeff has already had the Kickstarter, but he just gave me this, and I want to show it to you. Then, if there is some announcement, I'll show you next time. All right. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video. This is Ben Trading Cards. Bye-bye.